This morning, we're lucky enough to have a Sarasota cookbook author in studio with us and a delicious summery pasta-y, fabulous smelling dish. This is <laughs> Julian Hazan, author of 30 Minute Pasta and an array of other cookbooks. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Well, thanks for having me. All right, so we're about to get down to business because this is some, if you're Absolutely. a pasta lover like you are, and I am as well, and I'm sure you probably are too, this is a different twist. This is a rather unusual pasta dish because it's made with cantaloupe melon. Yes, no marinara sauce. And I here. did not make this up. This is actually <laughs> something that I had in Venice at a restaurant that is unusual for most restaurants. In Venice, it had no risotto or fish, but it had interesting things like beef tenderloin with cherries and <laughs> pasta with cantaloupe was one of those things. And when I make this for friends, I never tell them what's in it and I always try to make them guess. Because Ooh, at the end, you can't yeah. tell. You can't no. tell. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're doing, as you can see, is we're melting some butter. Mm -hmm. And then I've cut up the melon here. How, about how much melon is that? Like this you? is about uh, half a melon. Okay, okay. Perfect. And then I uh, put it in, and we're going to turn this up so that we can saute this a little bit. You want to season it fairly aggressively because the melon is sweet. So some uh, sea salt. I like to use sea salt and some black pepper. Fairly generous with that too. And then we just, you know, toss this and saute it for about 15 minutes or so. And after that time, I'm gonna do a little switching here. Let's go for it. Okay. Magic of TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have this that I just cooked a little bit earlier. And you okay. see it's kind of cooked down. It kind of looks like a fruit compote now. So maybe you might still be able to guess that it's melon. But we're gonna add some things to it that is going to change that. So one thing is some tomato paste. And I like to buy tomato paste in a tube like this. I've never seen tomato paste actually in a tube. Seen it in the because, can. Yeah. you know, you can close it up and you can keep it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And I don't use it that often. Right. And it, and it keeps really, really well. And recipes really, really only well. call for such a small amount anyways. And then you, you know, exactly. don't use the rest of the can. It goes away. So it's starting to change a little bit. And now I'm going to add some lemon juice. Lemon juice with fruit in particular really brings out flavors very well. So add a little bit of lemon juice. Here we go. Okay. And it's like a sunset in there. <laughs> there you go. So you see now we stir that all in. And the last ingredient is some heavy cream. Not too much, don't be afraid of it. Okay, and I forgot to open it. No worries. <laughs> okay, here we go. So and we cook this down. I'm going to turn this up even more. Don't be afraid of cream curdling or anything like that. If it's heavy cream, it won't, it won't curdle. Gotcha. Okay, so you cook this down a bit. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. <laughs> and the last thing, of course, is we're going to toss it with the pasta. Okay, so this is something you should never do at home, pre-cook your pasta. Okay? <laughs> so ideally, you have had your pasta cooking. And I always say to my students in my classes, we do hands-on classes in Sarasota, that they should always have the sauce ready and then cook the pasta. Because it's okay if the sauce waits for the pasta, but it's not okay if you do it the other way around. Mm. All right, we're going to mix this together. We'll be right back after a quick break and show you what the final product looks like.